Hi Taurus, this is your weekly horoscope for the week of February 1st to February 7th. I tried to repair this microphone and I even ordered a new one from Amazon, <laughs> but that one didn't work. It had so much ambient sound, so I'm trying it again. I'll do some editing before I upload it, so hopefully it's going to work better this time around. So what was with you last week, if I remember? you had that bask in the sun message. So let's see how you continue this week according to that message. Also, uh, you might note if you dig in my channel that I uploaded the meditation. It is a love, attract love meditation. And that's going to be also additional things I will be doing on this channel. Soon I'll record about me so I can learn a little bit about my background, which basically is in psychology. So that's why I'm doing a tarot more like archetypes than anything else. But there will be some really professional tools that can help you. So if you want to redefine your love, if you are already enjoying yourself with your partner, or if you just want to actually attract new love, then I think this uh, subliminal and meditations will be just amazing too. You can do them as, as frequent as you want, as frequent as you can. They're about 30 minutes. And what they happen, they kind of ha help put the reson resonation, a resonance in you to the proper kind of like tune. A soon also have a solfeggio kind of like uh, sound that will actually fine tune certain particular things about you. So slowly, each week a little bit, you know, I'm just doing this as a hobby in addition to, to my life coaching business. So I'm trying to do as much as I can. So please be patient. Also keep in mind that doing a tarot reading for an entire group of people of, of your Taurus, it's kind of tough because I have to read enormous amount of energy. This is like every twelfth person is Taurus. So if you really want the energy is just like tuned to you with your birthday, with your name, with let's say a friend you're asking for, that is very specific and the cards are going to be way more specific. This is a general energy and sometimes even you don't find yourself, sometimes you do. For example, I think it was Libra that had like, I mean, probably the best uh, weekly telescope last week, even though they look like they might be having some kind of like big breakthroughs in their relationships. And I got two comments, one was like, ugh, nothing is happening, bad week so far. The other, however, was, hey, I got engaged or something like that. So there you go, because these cards are both up, uh, upright and, and downright. So I mean, it can happen both ways. And don't let it sidetrack you, uh, because the goal is to get on the upper kind of like part. And even though if you're currently experiencing negative parts of that card, like you know you can flip it. And literally flipping it from inside of you. So let's see what is this week bringing. And also, in advance to tell you, I cannot read uh, runes today. Because the very first sign, who well, I was the leader actually this week, you're number four to us. So just keep up the good work with subscribes, likes, and shares. Shares would help because uh, I think if I get to a certain point, like the 500 subscribers, we are in 100 in the first week. So thank you so much for liking me. But if you share, subscribe, and like, and help uh, with other people as well, then when I get to 500, what I'll do, I'll do a live presentation where you're going to get freebie readings. So I'm encouraging you to do that. And so let's help each other. All right, Taurus, let's focus. And let's focus on your reading from February 1st to February 7th. Taurus, February 1st, February 7th. And yes, if you want your own telescope, please check my website, which is down in the description. We have three offers at this page. It's worth it, trust me. Okay, let's. And in addition to this uh, meditation I'm giving, I'm going to give you a love doodle, which you can download, print it, and actually paint it. It's going to be an amazing tool for you to focus. You can do it in conjunction with. Uh, the subliminal uh, meditation piece that I uploaded, and you can also do it on its own, and you can do these two things completely separately. 
it's also good if you have a kid, then you can actually teach them four letters, L-O-F-V-E, and you can basically give them coloring thing. Even though that's a little bit more complex doodle, it was made for you, for the adults, so use it. I think it's really good to actually keep thinking about love using these colors. Colors have vibration, as you know, and I want to accomplish with the subliminal meditation and with this coloring that I fine tune you for the Valentine's Day. And it's going to happen in several ways. Some of you who are not happy and who are maybe still kind of like suffering over a bad breakup or you don't have anyone, you're going to be fine tuning yourself for love. Some of you who are very happy, you're going to erasing all these things that are not working and fine tuning yourself for a better relationship. So it works for everybody. Okay, so let's get to the fun part. Taurus. February 1st to February 7th. Taurus, February 1st to February 7th. Jumper. Very strange. And let's see the bottom. Death. But look at how beautiful this card is. Very unlike the other, other basically tarot decks where you see this like scary figure. You have a kitty that lost one of the lives, and look at this. All the other lives are waiting to be resurrected and to be lifted, and you get all the vigor and all the energy. It just tells you that you have to bury the old and go with the new, which kind of like I think it's also sort of a theme of the rest. Last week you were very lucky and you got your kind of like bask in the sun. You basically were supposed to commit to see who your friends are, who you want to get in your narrow circle, who you don't want to get in your narrow circle. Virgos, I think, also got this seven of fire. And uh, so it's kind of interesting if you know any Virgo, uh, that means it could be probably conflict in between the two signs if they're connected, uh, kind of from 78 cards to get the same one. And if I remember, I don't know, I think you had this last week, but in the first position. So I think you're maturing to it. So it is really good, Taurus. This is also Earth sign. And uh, what also you have this week, you have two major arcana cards. And this is really important. It means like you're really, really getting ahead uh, into, you know, how important this task will be for you. So let's say generally, um, after this enormously good week, where you're supposed to redefine who you are and find some kind of practical steps and see where you are in the highest development. Right now, like maybe that puts you in a kind of contemplative mode and you're right now the hermit. You kind of like are enjoying where you are and you are kind of like very happy where you are. You're keeping your wisdom. You did accomplish so much in your life. But right now you want to find a comfortable place. Uh, you see, pomegranate is like indicates strength and you have the moon and kitty is like very, very comfy where kitty is, but kitty is alone. So I think after the last week, you maybe accomplished so much that right now you're tired of so much activity. You had like so many people around you Maybe it's time to kind of like be on your own. Maybe it's time for a little bit less activity and just like paying attention to your own rest and to what you need. But this is not just a physical rest. We are talking here, that will be Four of Swords. 
or for sky here. This is more. This is karmic rest. Karmic is somebody who is resting but is going inside. Somebody who doesn't depend on other people's opinions and somebody who is really enjoying its own company and looking for its own path. So, who has the light to guide him? And, you know, the cats are nocturnal animals. They see well in the dark. So, there is no issue over right here. So, this cat is right now enjoying whatever happened last week and sort of like taking account of what, what, what didn't work. Maybe what didn't work and maybe what's going to repeat is like this possible uh, fire situation. It's maybe possible defensiveness. You know, you see the one kitty that is like successfully defending himself or herself against the bunch that is very, very fierce. Um, this is a card of perseverance. Nothing wrong about it. This really speaks so much about the Taurus, your earth sign. You are able and willing to build things slowly. And you're willing to kind of like get up after somebody takes you down. So look at the cards here that you're drawing are telling you that you actually... In the beginning, this is the beginning, and and the beginning come at the same time. You finish university, you start a job. So one chapter, one book is finished, and the one starts. So what you are doing is like maybe you're contemplating where is that beginning and how difficult it would be to get there and how much struggle and thing it is. But no matter what you do, you're going to find your ground. This is the ultimate in, in earth signs. Look at this. is a kitty who is fully, fully content. He's earth king, king of pentacles. Somebody who knows to live life well, who enjoys food, who enjoys good things, who enjoys accomplishment. So you're going to strive toward people who are already accomplished, who are mentors from whom you can learn things, and who can actually guide you on this path. And maybe kind of like the lesson for you and how to kind of get to this person is, or maybe it could be you just going inside of you and deciding, you know, enough is enough. And this has been so far so good. So this is the goal and it was the beginning or something or the last one. Oh my gosh, maybe that was the last one. I, I have it. Let me check what was the next last week. No, you didn't have that card last week. Sorry, you had Good Kitty. You had the Judgment card and the Sun and Earth Queen. So, last week you learned how to pamper yourself. Last week you had Lethargy. You had to learn how to pamper yourself, how to bask in the sun and how to enjoy the good fruits. So now you're actually moving to the next stage. The next stage here means... Like you don't depend, you don't have to get over somebody and get in your way. This is now becoming you. You're coming into your full self. You know, like, I mean, how maybe we are younger, we're always trying to be somebody and always trying to fight for their, you know, uh, attention or kind of like likeness. Now you know who you are. You're so well aware who you are, you don't have to prove yourself. So job well done. So sort of like I see the progress between the two weeks. Also, please check your monthly and also get a reading. Right now, like on my uh, website, you can see three readings. And unfortunately, I cannot do these quick $10 readings anymore because I was inundated last week and I really don't have this much time. So sorry about it. But I promise you that these readings that I offer are comprehensive and they're going to give you way more insight than before. All right. Take care and uh, I will upload runes for you tomorrow.